to the next video in today's video i will show you how to use suspense with nextjs 14 uh, using app router obviously so here uh, you can see that i have this page so i will just remove this header i have this page called home page and i have this uh, server component so there is only one component inside my page and this server component uh, what it does is that it just calls a fetch api and it gets a random number and it just displays it inside an h1 tag okay so if I, j I if I refresh my page, I have just refreshed my page. Uh, here you can see that it, it just uh, it takes time to load. Like the user has no indication whether uh, it is still loading or there is some issue with the app. Okay, I have purposefully added some delay in my uh, backend API. Now if I want to show some loading indicator uh, till that uh, uh, API gives me some value data, what you could do is you can just add a component called loading.tsx the name is very important like this should be a page level so suppose you have some different page then you can add that as well uh, if you want to uh, but here is uh, as you can see i have this loading.tsx that's it and here you can create the react component for it like however you want so i have just given a header this is a new loader now if i try to refresh it so here you can see this is a new load new loader you see immediately uh, till the data is fetched from the api and as soon as the data is fetched uh, the uh, loader disappears automatically now suppose if i have some static data so i will just add some static data like an h1 tag called hi now uh, some part of is it is of my page is static some part is server rendered uh, dynamically now if i try to refresh it like it is still showing me this is a new loader like this is not a good uh, thing because h1 is static so what you could do is uh, you can just remove this loading h dot tsx like i will rename it something different loading one so that uh, the name is different now what i can do is i can just use suspense okay and here i will just wrap it like this and here you can give a fallback so fallback can be anything like uh, i will give another h1 uh, new progress bar here you can type uh, any react component which you want or refer any react component now if i try to refresh my page here you can see hi is automatically displayed and here you can see new progress bar and once my number i have received from the backend api that gets replaced by it so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye